Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. And today is May 12th, 2015. We're in Bluffton. We're in Rose Dew Creek Plantation to see this home still under construction at 6 Nandina Court in Rose Dew Creek Plantation. This home has 2,520 square feet. It's all on one level with only a couple of steps to take you up to your first floor, the one level where everything is located. Three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. There is also a home office or what can be called a flex space, an extra room if you will. Two car garage. This home is uh, being constructed by the DR Horton Company and I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 39 years of Hilton Head Island and Bluffton experience. And uh, normally I don't show a home while it's under construction, but uh, this home, which is about uh, three months away from being completed, has already been in uh, demand. I've been getting some calls for it, people wanting to see it, because this community, Rosedew Creek, is very popular in the standpoint that it has large lots and mature trees. A lot of my buyers are asking for that. And what DR Horton has done a couple, maybe three years ago at the most, they bought 25 lots in Rose Dew Creek Plantation. And now they're all built out with the exception of just a few, including this one, which have homes under construction. And so I guess you could say it's your last chance to get into Rose Dew Creek at this price, which by the way is $449,900, let's just say $450. Uh, there's just a few homes in and around the mid fours here in Rose Dew Creek. And after that, the resale price has jumped to $750. There's three in the 800 price range. There's one at just under a million three. Rose Dew Creek Plantation is a, uh, a community of beautiful homes, large lots, great privacy, and uh, as you can see, mature trees. Uh, the typical lots in here are more in a half to a full acre. Many of my buyers are asking for that. This particular lot is 0.62 acres. Again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, as in Gated Communities. And I'm the Gated Communities Specialist, ladies and gentlemen. We're both Gated Community Specialist and Go Gated Realty are federally registered trademarks. And Rose Dew Creek Plantation is a gated community. And it has a community swimming pool. The annual HOA here in 2015 is $1,882. Well, Let's walk through this one and see if it could be for you. This home has a beautiful stone uh, treatment on the front, left and right. The rest of the siding is what's called hardy plank. Looks like clabberds. It is actually a concrete fiberboard clabbered material. Very, very popular. We have vinyl clad windows and an off white trim. A covered front porch. We have a um, an elevated slab with the tabby base, the tabby concrete base, and together with this beautiful stone treatment here at the front. Wow, complete complete with stone sills here. Very nice, very nice. All of this uh, in a home which is 2,520 square feet. Again, the price $449.9. Let's go in and take a look. I get very good buyer reaction here to these homes at Rose Dew Creek. Beautiful covered front porch with the beadboard ceiling. The hardy plank is the latest and greatest. Very popular building material on the exterior. The builders just aren't building with Cypress anymore, ladies and gentlemen, excepting on uh, exceptional cases. Uh, case they're really building with the hardy plank well let's go inside now i'm a former licensed home builder so i have to tell you that i love new construction 
And many of the buyers that I work with want a new house. And the only thing is when you walk through a construction site like this, sometimes it's a little hard to imagine it with the wood floors and the tile floors that it's going to have. But let's give it a try anyway. Here's your living room straight ahead. You have high flat ceilings in this house. High uh, a transom window to bring light. That is a covered back porch there. Let's just walk back and get a preview here because this is also a pie-shaped lot, which means it's narrower at the street, wider at the back. So you have kind of your private woods back here and you just don't even see your neighbors in the back. We'll walk, we'll walk back there when we finish. Uh, you do have a covered porch with this beautiful sea cell finish on your concrete. A lot going for this house, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just look back towards the foyer here with the high ceilings, the windows all around your entrance door, and your dining room here to the left. Now, some people tell me too that they love what they call a craftsman-style house. Well, I think this one would qualify because the baseboards, the woodworking and all is very craftsman-style, including this high baseboard that you see running throughout this house which is an expensive option in many homes. We have the, um, uh, the, the wall board, the, um, the paneling, if you will, which is craftsman style. The wainscoting, the chair rail going around. Big double windows. We're gonna see big windows in this house, letting in lots of light. We have the craftsman style lentil over the windows. All very attractive. And again, the home is narrower at the front than at the back, which is what you want. And it's on a cul-de-sac too. The address here being 6 Nandina Court. 6 Nandina Court. And a um, little cul-de-sac. Here we have some crown molding. Very clean look to it. Our master bedroom, garage and so forth off to the right. We'll go there in just a minute. Our kitchen here is straight ahead. I promise you that those ovens will be set into the cabinets. And our hallway here to the left takes us past a powder room here to the left, sometimes called a guest bathroom. This is where your commode, your sink will go. Have a beautiful panel of doors in this house. I showed it just the other day. The uh, people I showed it to just said they love this kind of country style. That's what you have here in this home and into our great room. You have both a living room and a great room. Big over under windows left and right of that real wood burning fireplace. High ceilings here. Perhaps you can imagine your flat screen TV above that fireplace or your favorite painting. You have a trio of over under windows across the back here in your family room. And another uh, quartet of windows at your breakfast area. So you have your formal dining room, front left of the entrance, the breakfast area here, part of the great room. All of this open to your kitchen with your big breakfast bar, granite tops, your hallway down to the right there to your second and third bedrooms. We'll go there when we finish the rest of this. But this then is your kitchen with your staggered cabinet elevations, your granite top here, looking very, very good. Then again, we're about two to three months from completion on this house. Your single stainless bin is what is so popular these days. Perhaps you can imagine starting your day here in this big great room, beautiful windows, this beautiful breakfast area here to the right, looking out into your own private, private woods. I think that most of us could get used to this. I know I could. Beautiful day here in uh, May 12th. Temperatures up in the high 80s today. Looks like summer may come a little early this year. These mature trees will give you a lot of shade for your house. And of course, uh, D.R. Horton also builds a very energy efficient house. Uh, the very uh, uh, they, they do a lot of quality control. They design the heating and air system specifically for every home, depending on the orientation of the house. And they do a lot of quality testing on the uh, efficiency of the 
um, ductwork. Well, here's our master suite off of the living room. Once again, we have these beautiful panel doors, kind of the country style. Here's our master bathroom. We'll come back to that in just a minute. It's really going to be beautiful. Again, many of you may be able to use your imagination to see it. You step back into your master bedroom and it's a beauty with this beautiful recessed ceiling. Of course, those ceiling fixtures can be exchanged out for 52 inch fans, which I recommend. You have some high windows on the side here for light and privacy. And that's probably where your headboard would go over here on this side, where my back is. So facing that wall and this private view every morning, I think that uh, this is what you want right here. We're talking 449.9, ladies and gentlemen, for a home that's gonna have wood and tile floors, beautiful paint, beautiful woodworking. Here is our double door closet here. However, we have another walk-in closet in here. Now, in the corner there, your uh, corner tub is going to go with a separate shower to the right. That's all gonna have a glass frame. It's most likely going to be a fiberglass tub with a cultured marble surround. And cultured marble surround, I'm guessing in your shower, possibly fiberglass, but I'm guessing cultured marble. Granite top with the framed uh, mirror, not yet installed. And then here is our walk-in closet. On this side here, the shelving is not yet there. Our second vanity, so you have separate vanities for him and for her. Beautiful maple cabinets, granite tops, framed mirror, craftsman style frames, craftsman style woodwork throughout. Here's our water closet, and the commode is not yet set, but that's where it will go. And again, here is a second closet on the way. I don't know if I can, you know, just get a quick look here. So you do have a second closet here if you need that or want that. Thing about this plan is that everything's on the one level. You notice you have the concrete floor. So everything is going to be solid under your feet, no crawl space. Here we head down towards our garage and that flex space. We have another closet here to the left. We take one, two steps down and on our left, just about to the garage. Here's this home office, or what they call a flex space. Could be your home gym. Whatever you want it to be. It's a good size room. So you actually have three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, and an office. All on one level. Now there is another one similar to this. Similar size, similar price. I think it's another $10,000 that does have a, uh, some of the rooms on the second floor. The thing that's attractive about this to you boomer retirees is that uh, everything here is on one level. Well, here's our two car garage, which opens to the side, has two separate electric car door openers and your uh, drop stairway to your attic right there. An extra space to the side here. Your water heater is going to go out here into the uh, garage. Your whole house water cutoff is right here. When you have your home inspected, and I always recommend that with all my clients. Again, I represent you, ladies and gentlemen. I don't represent Dr. Horton, and I'm here because I really like this house and I like Dr. Horton, but I still represent you. And uh, one of the first things when we have our homes inspected is that the inspector will say, well, you need to know where your water cutoffs are in case there is an emergency. And it's great to have those in the garage like that. So we have quick access. Well, here's one more quick look into that great room, the kitchen, breakfast area. We're crossing the foyer here to the left. We've already been down here, and instead of turning right, we're gonna turn left and head towards our second and third bedrooms. We do have another drop stairway here to another attic entrance. Here's our second bedroom with two big windows, flat ceiling, closet, and these two bedrooms share a bathroom, sometimes called a Jack and Jill, here to the side. This one has, again, granite top, dual undermount basins. This is what you'll have in your master. You already have this in your master bathroom. Framed mirror, the mirror yet to be installed. 
beautiful sconce light. And then you have the separate tub and shower over here with the high horizontal window and this is a fiberglass unit. Your uh, commode is going to go right down there. And of course this is all going to be tile, tile floor, carpet in your bedrooms. I need to double check on what's going to be in your family room and so forth, but I believe it's wood. Now as we come around, your laundry is going to be here. Full size washer and dryer will go right there with the window. And then here's your front bedroom for your third bedroom, or I guess you might call it number two. This is a beautiful room uh, with a high ceiling, kind of what sometimes is called a barn ceiling. You have two slopes up to a high flat ceiling. Your closet over there, beautiful windows, beautiful yard, mature trees. This would be a great home office or super duper second bedroom or whatever you want it to be. Sometimes um, when couples come to me, you know, they say, well, we need uh, three bedrooms and an office, but, or two bedrooms and an office, but you know, it, it, it emerges that, well, she needs an office too, or a hobby room, and both of you need offices. Well, you have that in this house. You still have a guest bedroom. This would be a beautiful home office or whatever you want it to be. And then we saw that flex room that would be another beautiful office. You can pretty much do it your way in this house, ladies and gentlemen. Very versatile plan. I appreciate your walking through it with me to see this new construction. Let's go out back. We're just a little ahead of the game here. Well, as a buyer's agent, my job is not to tell you what to buy, it's to show you the different possibilities, either here in Rosedew Creek or in other communities. Rosedew Creek is pretty unique though. You just don't get many homes in this price range at this size with big lots and gated communities for $450,000 approximately. So a uh, very limited supply, uh, but if this is what you want, we'll certainly find it. Here's the side of your house that's going to have the garage entrance over there with the driveway. I'm sure it'll be a concrete driveway. Beautiful out here, birds chirping, looking very good. I see that the chimney is also has a tabby finish. Well, let me give you my contact information and invite you to call me or email. Tell me what you're looking for and let's work together to find it. Again, my name is Richard Kadish. It's K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company, Go Gated Realty, as in gated communities. My cell phone, 843-684-2933. And my email address is rich at gogated.com. That's R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A-T-E-D.com. And my website is gogated.com. Well, at gogated.com, you can search all MLS properties at any time on your own, but I'm inviting you to contact me. Let's get acquainted. Tell me what you're looking for, and let me send you a list of those properties in a format that will update automatically for you. It'll save you a lot of time, and in my opinion, it is the best way to monitor your personal real estate market. And my clients really like it. There is no cost or obligation for that service. I'm happy to provide it to you and give you the service that you want. You know, you have a right to a buyer's agent, ladies and gentlemen, and it doesn't cost you anything more. I'm only paid at closing. If you buy and if you close, my commission is already in the price of every listed property, including this one, including new construction with developers like DR Horton and others. Many people don't know that. They, they think they need to go from door to door and compare builders on their own, that the price will be different maybe if they just go it on their own. Not true, not true. These builder developers do not lower their prices. If you don't have an agent, they expect you to have an agent. They know you're out shopping and comparing. And how are you gonna do that on your own? Well, you can. Of course, but you know, it doesn't cost you anything more to have an agent working for you. And why not have an agent with 39 years experience like me? Another agent with less experience? Well, they are in the same commission. So I think it's really a no-brainer to get the most experienced agent you can get 
and save your time. I'll certainly help you solve problems, refer people to you that you need from my team, attorney, inspector, decorators, contractors, whatever you need. So please call or email. Let's get acquainted. Uh, you have my contact information, cell phone 843-684-2933. This is going to be a beautiful home. I appreciate your walking through it with me during this uh, uh, the construction phase. I am a former licensed South Carolina contractor. I love working with new homes. I work with a lot of people, folks, who um, want a new home. And one of the interesting programs that many of these builders have, by the way, is they allow you to buy contingent upon your selling your home back wherever you're from. So I've, I've done a lot of sales that way where people come to me, they're not ready to buy yet because they have to sell first. We go case by case, but it may be that you can buy this house as an example, contingent upon the sale of your home back home, although this one is only about 90 days from being finished. You'd have to sell it pretty quick, but perhaps we can talk about others. Well, please call, please email. Thank you again. I'll look forward to meeting with you and talking with you about your real estate needs. This home again, number six, Nandina Court, Rose Dew Creek Plantation, $449,900, about 90 days away from being finished.